Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions, we haven't done one for a long time, of the Amazon Basics Premium Coloured Pencils. This is the 72 set, which I believe is the biggest you can get. So this one, let's say, it came very well packaged. It came by a Royal Mail. It was in a box. It had foam padding and it was wrapped in bubble wrap as well. So that's good. So we're just going to take them out. They come in this little tin. Filled the tin. I can't get them out. Hang on. I'll throw that away afterwards. So they come in this nice tin, and again, the tin is sealed as well. Lovely. Oops. I'm going to take the ages to get into this. I should have had this all done, but I wanted to show you that they were quite packaged quite well. I can't get the tape off. Hang on a sec. Right, well, getting that tape off was a lot harder than it should have been, but we're there. Let's open them up, and there we go. So, we're obviously, using two layers of 36, first layer, and I will just move them across into the top so you can see the second layer as well. Let's have a look at this one. This is green. It's a round barrel. Not bad. Amazon Basics. Got the colour on it and it's got a colour number as well, which is good. That one's uh, 46. This one is 44. So they're not actually in order by, by the look of it. There's 45. There's 47. I'm just going to whack them into order and then we will have another look and start swatching them. Okay, there was only a couple that were out of order, so it wasn't too bad. So obviously, whoops, let me just move that out of the way, something of Jennifer's. I am going to put my swatch page so you can see it. I'm just gonna move the pencils out of the way, but where I can grab them, and we'll zoom in. So, like so, so we can see it. The page is here. So uh, let me just, I'm just going to change the angle slightly, just so that it does better, slightly better. So as you can see, it's, we're here. Okay, so the first colour is white. Um, I'm just going to write 501 white. I'm not going to do that one because you won't be able to see it anyway, I will do that later. But the second one is 502 Sand. So, 502 Sand. So let's have a look. So they're soft, they're not scratchy at all. Well, this one's certainly not. Now it's a light sand, it's not highly pigmented, but it is it's nice. I'm not not pressing too hard and we are getting some colour and I've done it on the wrong square but it doesn't matter um, but yeah that feels quite nice I'm just going to rectify this and I'll come back I won't be a sec right now I've rectified that so the next one is uh, lemon yellow it's a very nice uh, lemony colour so here we are so I'm just going to go very light very gentle and layer it and see how it goes. That's a lovely colour. Soft, nice pigment. Excuse me. Yeah, that seems very nice. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the paper. It's building up quite nicely. just by layering. Like so, very nice. It's a nice colour. If you want to press a bit harder, you'll get a brighter lemon. Very nice. So far the colours are good. Third one is called just yellow. Just so you can see, I won't put a lot of pressure down. It's good pigment coming off. It's not scratchy, feels nice. 
I hold it closer just because it's easier being left-handed. Yeah, that's quite nice. Put a bit more pressure on to get the dark yellow part out. So if you wanted to burnish it, you could, as you can see. I won't fill the boxes in, I'll do that later, but what I'll do is I'll just keep going through the colours so we can have a look. Next one is a chrome yellow. So this is a yellowy orangey colour, it's very nice, very nice colour. And again, it's not scratchy, feels nice, good colour. I know some people don't like these. I mean, they're okay because they're not up to the level of, say, obviously Prismacolors or even Black Widows. There's nothing wrong with them as a budget pencil. I think it was £19 for the 72 set, which is not bad. I mean, and I do like my Prismas, my Polys, if I want to use those, my Black Widows and my Derwent Color Softs, which are the, obviously, quite premium pencils, quite expensive, those. Obviously the Black Widows aren't, but there's a lot of them, so it costs a while to, it costs a bit to get the full set, but these feel really nice. It's for like travelling, there's a good selection of colours if you don't want to take your expensive pencils. Next one is orange. And again, let's have a look. Nice, nice orange colour. As you can see, it's a very nice orange colour. Like I said, I'm not, I'll try not to fill in the whole thing. I can fill them in later when I've got more time. Because I just want to show you the different colours and how they lay down. And then we'll have a look with a piece of paper and see what they look like if we blend two colours together. Next one is Tangerine. Again, so this is a lighter orange. Should be lighter anyway. Yeah, that's a nice lighter orange. So as you can see, it's going down very nicely. I've got a picture I want to do with these, so... Hopefully you'll see that at the end of the month. And uh, you can see the wood grain from, because I'm not leaning on anything, from my table underneath, <laughs> which is fine. Next, we're on to the reds. And the first one is the vermilion. I just say that I always pick them up upside down because I'm left-handed. <laughs> so then I have to turn them the right way and then turn them back the wrong way. That's a nice red. I mean, I love red. It's my favourite colour. It's that orangey red. A vermilion should be. Again, colour goes down quite nicely. You can burnish it off like that. Looks nice. Yep, like that one. Because if I did it all and did it properly, like filled the whole thing, we'd be here for hours. We don't want to be here for hours. This one is Scarlet. Very nice. Again, going down nice and easy. Just, I'm just going to layer in this place so we can see without putting too much pressure on that you can build up a good layer of colour. If you want to burnish it, you can go straight in and that's a very deep scarlet. Very nice. Or you can just leave it light. Depends on what you're looking for. And build it up in layers. Still on to the reds. The next one is just red. Fair enough. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is a red. This one feels a little bit scratchy, but it's not uncomfortably so. Let me just do that. Build it up so it layers nicely. And if you wanted to really push hard. And burnish it, get that lovely, lovely colour there. Nice. Next one is geranium red. Yeah, a little bit more blue in this red. That's nice. So that's the burnish. That's the light. And then let's just do a little bit here. I'll just layer it over and over and over without much pressure. 
Actually, it layers down to a lovely colour. I'm so far. I'm, I'm I'm impressed. I'm liking them. Carmen or Carmine, however you want to pronounce it. And again, slightly bluer red. Not scratchy. Oh, quite like that one. Let's layer this one. Yeah, it layers nicely. And if you don't want to layer because it takes too long, you can burnish. You get, look at that red. That is gorgeous. That one and that one. Pink. Pinks now. This one is hot pink. Sometimes I find pink can be a bit stretchy. This isn't too bad. yeah that's nice and to burnish like that lovely so yeah these are very nice to feel next color is called rose a sort of like a dusky dusky vintage rose to me quite like that color it's the colour of roses on old wallpaper. That's it layered. Burnished, you get that. Next one's more of a red colour again, orangey red, and this is coral red or coral red. I like a coral. So coral's kind of an orangey red normally, almost like a vermilion, but yeah, that's nice. layering and if we burnish it it's a very very gorgeous coral and back to the pinks and this one is literally just pink it's a very blue pink if you ask me there's a lot of cool tones in this pink it's not warm but it's a very nice nice one So to get a good coverage, coverage on some of them, you will have to put on multiple layers. Um, next is uh, salmon. I think it's quite a nice one. I like that colour. I always liked the salmon in the prism colours. was always nice, I felt. great colour. Next one is blush. So it is a good overall selection of colours. There's a lot of blues and greens. There's a good few reds. Some browns. Oh, I like this. So this is more of a Caucasian skin tone colour. I like that. I do like that one actually. The next one is actually called flesh, so that would be a Caucasian flesh because obviously flesh is different colour depending on your skin colour. It's very pale, very pale, maybe too pale. I'm actually burnishing this one down to, to actually see the colour. That's very pale, very pale. but nice. Don't get me wrong, it is nice. It's a very light colour. Cream beige. Hmm. It's quite a nice colour. I think if I was going for skin, I would probably use this one. 
and then that one for highlights and this one maybe for a, a, a bit of darkening around the edges but I don't know yet I'll have to practice that at some point the next one we've got is lavender I love a good lavender yeah that's, that is a lovely color let's give it a burnish so we can see how dark it goes very light and this is layering just layering it over and over that's really that is such a nice color and then the next one is called lilac so let's have a look at lilac that's so soft that feels so soft and creamy it does not feel scratchy or hard at all that is lovely Finished to have a quick look. It's a nice colour, isn't it? Because these are just Amazon's basics, they're really, really cheap. I'm quite impressed at the moment. So, this next one is called Hydrangea Pink. So, I know what colour it should be because I love hydrangeas. And it is very, very, very close to Hydrangea Pink. That is a lovely, lovely colour. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's just layer it down a bit. And burnish. Colour. Beautiful. Um, purples tend to be the scratchiest ones, I find, probably because of the way of the pigment. This one is a magenta. You can still see the bits underneath my table. It's a good colour though, isn't it? Look at that. I'll go back to the original swatch sheet because I'll probably redo these completely at some point. Just a sec, because uh, they've moved over one. Oh. It's a player for me now, look. Where did that other sheet of paper go? Here it is. We'll just carry on using this one actually. This one is Claret. And the battery's running out, so I have to change it in a minute. So, Claret, very nice. Purpley red, which is what it should be. Let's just do that. A burnish. Very quick. Very light if you wanted a, a light colour. That's really nice. All right, I am just going to change the battery and I'll be right back. Okay, that's done. And we're on to the next colour. We just did colour it. The next one is Red Violet. Not too much red in there. It's more of a blue tone, but I don't know. I'll go down any further. Let me know. That's fine. I do like it though. Vampire lips, do you think, maybe? And we've got violet. Lovely, let's have a look at violet. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm looking forward to seeing these blues. I've got to be honest, I really am. Yeah, it's a nice violet. And as you can see, yeah, I like that. We've only done, not even done half yet. Purple. That's a lovely colour actually, look at that. Quite impressed with them at the moment, so yeah Prussian blue oh it's the blues now I love blue it's Jennifer's favorite color my favorite color is actually red I'll admit but I do like a good blue that's a really nice blue almost like a stormy sky blue 
as well you could if you did it lightly like that you could make it look quite stormy I like that and then we've got ultramarine there's always an ultramarine and it's usually a very nice shade as well so let's have a look Oh, here comes the cat. He's in. I hope she doesn't jump up on here because, oh yeah, I like that colour. She gets in the way. You know what cats are like. I'm going to scratch it on my furniture now. Uh, cobalt blue. This is usually a gorgeous colour as well. Oh, and she's up on the pencils. There is a distinct smell, by the way, on these pencils. I personally quite like it. It's not a petrol smell, because I hate petrol. It's because you can't see anything because the cat's head's in the way. <laughs> so they've got out of focus because the cat was there. Um, I don't like the smell of petrol or diesel. It's definitely not that sort of smell. But I don't know, it's distinct. But I actually quite like it. I could sit there and sniff that all day, which might not be good, but you know. Next one is Smyma Blue, or Smyrna Blue, Smyrna Blue. There, there, no, you can't put your bum there, sorry. No, off you go. So <laughs> wet paws on the paper now as well, you know, little bugger. Oh, this is a nice colour. Look at that light blue, isn't that gorgeous? Let's give it a burnish, in case you wanted to. Layered, oh, yeah, that's a nice one. The next one is just called blue, just called blue. I might even do, do, do a couple of my um, colour by numbers using these. And the thing is they're not so expensive that you can't afford to replace them if you do use all the colours. Well, I was said to try and lick my feet, but I've got socks on, so that won't work. There we go. Then we've got one of those ones I can't pronounce, which is, oh no, this is Kingfisher Blue, I can. No strange um, Greek spellings in here at the moment. And that's just me. Oh gosh, that is a gorgeous shade of blue. Look at that. Wow. Mm. I, got, I am impressed with the colours on these pencils. Look at it. That is absolutely stunning colour. Then we've got one that's called, let's just have a look at this one. This one is light blue apparently. And it is, oh that's nice. That is a nice light blue. Mm. Yes. Looks like the sky when you get a really nice sunny day. Sometimes our skies look that colour. Not the burnished one, the light version. <laughs> oh, I make no sense. The next one is bluegrass. That is nice as well, isn't it? And that's the first 36. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is cerulean blue, which is like a sea colour almost. Normally. Yeah, that's a nice one as well. That is a nice, nice blue. So I'm quite impressed with the amount of blues. A good amount of blues. I use the back of these once I've uh, finished them. Let's have a look. This is the one that's dead stepped in. This colour is turquoise green. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. Apart from where you can see the dirty footprints, it's burnish, yeah. Nice. I like a good turquoise. We're into the greens now. This green is called jade. Is that on camera? Just about, yeah. Right, here we go. 
sorry I haven't put up many videos. I've been struggling just lately with everything that's been going on. Um, I will do a colouring chat as soon as I can and explain in more detail. Uh, but yeah, it's been a bit odd over here at the moment. So hopefully in the next day or so I will do a colouring chat to break up all the flip throughs. Uh, brilliant green. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is a nice. None of these have been particularly scratchy or hard. They're so far all good. Let's just do the burnish. Oh, look at that colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you do want me to colour a page with these, let me know. And I will, obviously. That's the easy done. This one is peppermint. Because it's quite an easy box to wear. That's a lovely green. Let's just layer it a bit. Yeah, let's just layer in. That's the light there. That felt a bit, that feels a bit scratchy. But not. I think it's just the outer wax coating or whatever it's coated in coming off. Very nice colour though. Uh, Viridian. I am liking these greens. I'd say the greens are the scratchiest so far. This is a bit scratchy as well. But it's not so bad that it's... It grates through your nerves. Sometimes if something scratches it's really annoying and it's like, oh, I can't cope with that. But these aren't that bad. Uh, next one is grass green. a nice colour. Yeah, that is a nice colour. I like that. Then we've got, oops, olive green is next. I can see the writing on it. And that's a good olive. That is a good olive green. That one wasn't scratchy at all. The next one is Emerald by the look of it. Yeah, just called Emerald. That's good pigment on that one. Look at that coming down. A bit scratchy, but not... Yeah, it is a bit scratchy that one, but it's not too bad. <coughs> The next one is called just green. So I'm going to turn over and I'm just going to do it on the top of this page. And I'll do proper swatch sheets later when I've got more time. So let's just go. Oh, that's a nice green, isn't it? Oh. So just layering it. And very light. That's nice. Um, the next one is, oops, excuse moi, called teal green. Oh, that's a good colour. I always think when you're doing, oh, you can't actually see it because I've pushed it out of the way. When you're um, <coughs> colouring in a book alike, say for instance, Johanna Basford's where there's lots of leaves, it's nice to have lots of different greens to be able to just use uh, for, for the different leaves. So yeah, moss green. Yeah. Like a darker version of the olive. It's nice. So it definitely needs layering, but it's really nice. Yellow green. Oh yeah, that is definitely a yellowy green, isn't it? You see that there? That's a bit better. Yeah, it's definitely a yellowy green. Nice. Next one is 
lime. There we go. That's a nice colour. I like this colour actually. I think I'm a bit of a lime green kind of gal. There we go. Next is mustard. I'd say it's a Dijon mustard as well. <laughs> oh, I like that colour. I said, no, oh, get your head out of the way. <laughs> so as you can see, the cat's here again. Layers nicely anyway. Um, sorry about this. No, you can't do that. And then we've got ochre. Come on, Zed, move. <laughs> oh, you're a gorgeous girl. You're a gorgeous girl, you are. Go for you, go. There you go, good girl. <laughs> well, I love our cats, isn't it, eh? We love our cats. I actually do love my cat a lot. She's lovely. Oh, this is nice. Isn't that a lovely colour? And then after ochre, we've got burnt ochre. That makes sense. I need to get a drink in a minute because I stupidly left it on the other table. Burnt ochre. That's a nice colour. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I'm very impressed with these Amazon Basic pencils. I mean, obviously the proof of the pudding is in the colouring, or the proof of the pencil is in the colouring, so we will have the cat's trying to eat me now. <laughs> She's trying to eat my feet. Uh, this is light oak. <laughs> I can feel her nibbling at my toes. Yes, darling, it's a... <laughs> you can't even see it. Sorry, light oak, anyway. This is a nice colour. Nice yellow. Zed, stop biting me. <laughs> Ow! How? Zed! I do apologise for that. She's literally grabbing my... She wants to play, I think. I'll play with you in a minute, sweetie. Uh, bark is next, so... Good selection for browns for the trees, logs and things like that. Said, if you don't stop eating me, I will not be happy. I can't actually move my foot because she's got her paws wrapped around it. Thank you, Zed. Ow. This is brown ochre. Which is nice. You can see me pushing harder there, and you can see what that looks like. But that is a lovely colour. Next one is burnt sienna. But it's not right. Let's have a look at this one. Right. Nice sienna brown. That's a nice colour. Let's build it up a bit. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I like the lightest one. There. And then we've just got brown, <laughs> obviously. Oh, that's layering nicely. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, I am a bit impressed with these, I'm not gonna lie. This one is the, a red brown. I just find that in um, colouring numbers, you've always got a red brown, and that is a re good red brown. Looking at it. It's gonna focus? Doesn't wanna focus. Why is it not focusing? Anyway. Uh, 
Hello. I have no idea what's going on with the camera. I'll see if I can sort it out. Let's leave that for a minute. Then we've got Brick Red. Let me just try something. That's better. I'll put it on manual focus for now. Brick Red. nice. Oh, I like that colour. That is actually a really nice brick red isn't it? Look. Oh yeah that is nice. Next we've got dark chocolate. very brown at all. Looks more like a grey to me. Yeah. So look if we put it down dark. Does that not look like a grey? Rather than a chocolate brown. A bit scratchy. That's the first colour I've been quite disappointed with because it's more grey than brown. Maroon. Should be in with the reds and purples but never mind. Here we go. Layering all right, isn't it? Layering nicely. Is it trying to focus? I've turned it off. There we go. Quite nice colours. And this one is Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown. If you can hear strange things, I have no idea what's going on. That's better. I think Paul's just put radio on upstairs. Okay, we're on to greyish colours now. This is grey, light grey. That's a nice grey actually. I'm always one of those people that think why do you need like five or six or seven or twelve greys like in the Prisma colour range but I do actually see the point now and I do like to see the different shades. I'd still prefer more reds though. Oh sorry this is um, silver grey and it is a very nice silver looking grey. Wow. That's a lovely colour. Got a warm grey next. Yeah. I think the greys they've put in so far have been really, really nice. This next one is a blue grey. nice again that's a very stormy sort of sea stormy sky color very nice next is dark gray again they go on very nicely it's not scratchy at all not at all it's very nice it feels very nice in the hand yeah 
Next one is Steel Grey. If she ever focuses for me, there we go. Steel Grey. That's nice. Ooh, very dark grey. Okay. So you can make it very light, mid by layering, and very dark by burnishing. Next is black. We're right at the end now. Only a couple more to go after this one. Right. I always get disappointed with blacks that don't look black enough or dark enough. So at the moment it's, it's doing fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good one. Midnight from the Black Widows is one of my favourite blacks, I will admit that. So that's just layering and it's gone a nice, nice dark. Burnishing, it's a beautiful black. And then very light, you get a, a, a dark grey again. But still very nice. Now the last two are metallic and it's uh, gold and then silver. So we will have a quick look. These can be scratchy sometimes. I find the <coughs> excuse me, the Prismacolor one's very scratchy. Not so much the gold and silver, but the rest of them. That's a nice gold, actually. Doesn't go on very light. You do need to put a bit of pressure down to get the pigment up, but do you know what? It's not a bad colour. That's all right. And silver is the final one so far so good they've all been fine there's nothing wrong with this set of pencils silver's good enough I'm not sure you need the silver and the silver grey but yeah, I do quite like that and that one does come off better as a light as well so those are the 72 colours. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get an orange, a red and a yellow and see how well they blend together. So, uh, where's just the normal red, that one. So what I do is I'm just going to lay down a little bit of yellow. It's a lovely yellow. I must admit, I like this yellow. It's really, really nice. And that is just called yellow. And then we're going to put the orange over, overlapping it, make it nice and long. Yeah, okay. Keep going. And as you see, it is, it is blending. Yeah. We'll lay the red over. Orange. Can you see they do blend where they meet? red down and then I put the yellow directly over the red. And as you can see it is making it an orange. This is only a quick test to see. That's not bad. We obviously haven't used them properly in a book, which I am going to do fairly shortly. But overall, I'm actually quite impressed with the uh, Amazon pencils. Uh, 72 set. I think if you're a, a beginner and you don't want to spend a huge amount on pencils, um, you could go for the, the big set of um, Crayola, but I'd say these are slightly better. I'd say these are better, in fact. They're a lot softer. Um, Obviously there's less in them, you can get 100 pencils for around £20 in Crayola, these are 
£19 for 72 but I think when you get to the point of getting 100 120 pounds it gets overwhelming with the colours um, but for a starter I'd say these were a perfect set of pencils there's nothing wrong with them at all I actually really really like these um, so I will be colouring a page with those this month this month and I will try and do a colouring chat using them at some point when I find um, the right picture for them for that. So I hope you've enjoyed this overview um, and my first impressions are that they are worth the price. There's certainly nothing wrong with them, they, they go down very nicely, they layer, you can burnish them, uh, they do blend. It might take a bit of work to get them to blend enough if you're really big on blending. I'm not, I'm more of a straight colourist with a little bit of blending. But I can see using two or three reds to get a, a nice sort of a flower colour, definitely. And if you're new to colouring and you don't want to outlay the huge expense of the big big sellers or the big big guns, the polychromos and the Prismacolor, uh, the Karen Dash, etc, etc, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, Black Widows are my favourite of the budget pencils, but they cost a lot overall to get all the sets. And you don't need all the sets, I'm just a completionist. But these pencils are absolutely really brilliant. There's nothing wrong with them and I can wholeheartedly say that they are worth the price. So I hope you've enjoyed this first impressions video. We haven't done one for such a long time. And uh, let me know what you think down below. Do you think they're worth the price? Have you got them? Um, I look forward to your comments and I will see you again very, very soon.